In June 2020, a serious conflict broke out on the Sino-Indian border. Tensions are raising concerns about threats to regional peace. This is considered the most serious clash between India and China since 1975. Military experts say the increased confrontation in recent months may stem from the fact that India has been building routes and airports to close the gap with China's superior infrastructure in the region along the border. Immediately, the Indian Air Force deployed military aircraft to the border areas with China, including the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, Mirage 2000, and Zawar. These planes have been dispatched to forward bases to increase deterrent power and react in case of need. Of this, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is the most notable. It is considered the most reliable military aircraft of the Indian Air Force and is the country's first line of defense in the event of a conflict. The Su-30 MKI is a variant of the Sukhoi Su-30, developed jointly by the Russian Sukhoi Group and India's HAR exclusively for the Indian Air Force. Su-30 MKI is a heavy fighter designed for air superiority and long-range mission. Development of this variant began in 2000. The first Su-30 MKI was produced in Russia and entered into service with the Indian Air Force in 2002. Then MKI was produced in India and began delivery in 2004. As of 2020, the Indian Air Force has about 260 Su-30 MKIs in inventory, making it the backbone of the Indian Air Force fighter fleet. Since Russian export fighters overlap some features compared to the original version, India was not satisfied. Therefore, they have mounted advanced electronic equipment from France and Israel on the aircraft, alongside key Russian components such as radar and engines. The Su-27 series has proven to be a versatile, high-performance combat platform. The Su-30 and its variants such as the Su-30 MKI continue to maintain the robustness of this series, making it a powerful tool on the modern battlefield. The overall length of the Su-30 MKI is 21.9 meters, the wingspan is 14.7 meters, and the height is 6.36 meters. As a heavy fighter platform, the MKI has an empty weight of 18.4 tons, while a maximum takeoff weight is 38.8 tons. Su-30 MKI still follows the design language of the Sukhoi aircraft. The airframe is made of titanium and high-strength aluminum alloys. The overall design is a blended wing body form combined with a pair of gunners to increase the aircraft lift ability and deflects automatically to allow high angle of attack flights, allowing it to perform Pugachev Cobra. The pilot sits in a glass bubble canopy behind the pointed nose, offering a great view of own size. The cockpit is integrated with customized version of the Israel Airbus Su-967 heads-up display, consisting of bicubic face holographic display. The nose is also a compartment for radar and avionics equipment. The engine intake rams and the cellars are fitted with charger fairings to provide a continuous streamlined profile between the nail cellars and the tail bins. The fins and horizontal tail concerns are attached to the tail beams. The central beam section between the engine nail cellars consists of the equipment compartment, fuel tank, and the brake parachute container. To cater to a beast like the Su-30 MKI, Sukhoi equipped it with a pair of Lyuka AR-31FB afterburning turbofan engines, which produce 123 kN with afterburner. The 3D thrust vectoring engines give the MKI the maneuverability advantage over any other aircraft in the Indian Air Force inventory. 
the Indian fighter can reach a maximum speed of Mark II, a range of 3,000 km, a fair range of 8,000 km, and a rate of climb of 300 meters per second. Also, it has an in-flight refueling probe that rejects beside the cockpit during normal operation. Among the most advanced fighters of the Sukhoi family, the Su-30 MKI is equipped with an NO-11M BARS face electronically scanned array radar. It is considered the most advanced radar compared to any aircraft of the Indian Air Force. The radar is capable of detecting targets at ranges up to 400 km and can track targets under 200 km. It was also nicknamed Mini Awaks due to the effective range of radar. The Su-30 MKI is also equipped with the OLS-30 laser optical infrared and tracking system, which provides day and night flare capabilities and is used with the Surura K helmet mounted sighting system. It helps in providing enhanced situational awareness to pilot in close combat maneuvering. For electronic warfare, the MKI is equipped with the indigenous terrain radar warning receiver. There is also an Israeli Alta ELM-8222 jammer, which allow MKI to evading, degrading, spoofing, and blinding enemy surface to air missile and source radar installations. In terms of weapons, Su-30 MKI is equipped with a 30mm Shibunov GSS-31 autocannon. The large airframe size allows it to have up to 12 hard points and can be increased to 14 using multiple ejector racks. It can carry up to 8.1 tons of ammunition, including a variety of missiles and bombs. India has successfully inaugurated Brahmos missile on Su-30 MKI. Brahmos is considered one of the most powerful weapons in India. The Arroch version has an estimated range of 300 to 400 km. At a Mark 2.8 speed, it is unlikely to be intercepted by existing missile defense systems. The Su-30 and Brahmos themselves are powerful weapons, and when one of the best fighters is armed with a formidable cruise missile, their power multiplies. As a powerful fighter of the Indian Air Force, the Su-30 MKI is frequently deployed in bilateral and multilateral air exercises, giving Indian pilots a wealth of combat experience. According to Indian media, on February 27, 2019, the Su-30 MKI successfully dosed at least four to five AMRAMs fired by Pakistan's F-16. The evasive maneuvers, shaft and flares used by Su-30 MKI have proven its combat capabilities. On March 4, 2019, an Indian Su-30 MKI shot down a Pakistani drone in Indian airspace, according to local media reports. The MKI version is much more expensive than the Russian Su-30 and the Chinese Su-30 MKK. Each Su-30 MKI has an estimated price of $50 million per unit in 2014. According to the Indian government, this difference is due to MKI having different specifications from the other true versions. Additionally, it is produced on a smaller scale and incurs technology transfer fees as well as production licensing fees. Although the Indian Air Force had just added Martin Rafael fighters from France, the Su MKI will continue to play a backbone role in this force. My video of India Su 30 MKI ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.